Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an affordable clothing haul. So I have stuff from Shein, Forever 21 and just one thing from Gap but it was on sale. Um, I mostly shop in places like that because I can't afford to shop anywhere else. But um, I don't shop a lot so this stuff is actually from a, like over a couple months. Um, but I thought it would still be good to show you. So some of the stuff I have already worn and I'll probably like insert over here in some pictures if I have because I won't be doing a try on portion. If you are new to my channel I would love if you subscribed just click the button down below and uh, you can follow me on Instagram as well to see me wearing all of these things over the next little while uh, or things that I've probably already worn but I'm not sure if they're up on my Instagram yet. What I like most about hauls like this is that you can see what's good and what's bad because sometimes you see items on something like Shein and you don't know if it's will if like you should take the risk or not um because some of the things are they're not expensive but they're more expensive than the rest of Shein um and to see what's kind of worth the risk because it's kind of hard to return I typically don't because of the shipping issues and then same with Forever 21 they don't have free returns so at least for me, of watching hauls like this so I can see if people with similar styles to me have bought those things and how they worked out. So that said, jumping right in. The first thing I got from Forever 21 I was really excited about. Um, I haven't said, but some of these things I'm kind of buying. I've gotten a job recently in a, I haven't started, um, but it's in a boutique in my town. So I'm gonna need to dress nice basically for work. And when I worked previously, I had a uniform and for college I've always dressed pretty casually. Um, more dressed up than Americans are, but not quite appropriate for where I'm going to be working. So I was trying to pick up a few bits for that. So I got this like chambray shirt dress which is like long sleeved super cute super soft just really simple from forever 21 and there's like a tie waist it's just on backwards and it has like buttons up part of the front and i thought it would be so cute it's not i got this in a medium i am like barely 5'3 i'm not actually 5'3 but i'm close to it and i'm kind of a medium build to a curvier build this is too small it's fine on top, but the skirt part of it is really, really small. So I would not suggest it um, in general. I don't really know, unless you are someone who's very, very narrow and slim, um, I would still suggest you get a medium if you want it to have like a typical kind of casual fit. I'm not happy with that purchase, but what can you do? It would cost like over half the price I paid for it to return it. So that's stupid. Um, We'll keep with the negative things for right now from Forever 21. Most of the other things are successes though. I got this bodysuit for like a night out, um, kind of like a, a big deal night out. And it is the actual worst quality. I'll try and link these things down below so you know which ones I'm talking about. Um, it was like, it said something like, oh, what do you call this? It's not ruching, it's uh, smocked. So it was like, oh yeah, smocked bodysuit, and I love wearing red, I love wearing warm colours, obviously, in my makeup and everything else. So I was like, oh yeah, this will be perfect, like v-neck, strappy, bodysuit, so it'll be tucked in. Again, I got a medium. Um, I would wear a small, actually, a lot of the time in Forever 21. Not only will this not close on me, like I can't get it to snap fasten, because the v literally like the tops here I'll tr I tried to like lengthen the straps so you can see they're like pretty much scooched the whole way down literally coming to like the, the top of like the V is up here the rest of it's down here it's not supposed to fit like that the snappers won't stay closed and the fabric quality is appalling it's like toilet paper like it's honestly so terrible it's not actual smocking at all um it's just how the fabric is woven I'm just so I don't know how well you can see it, but it is just the, like, it's so thin, it's terrible. And the snappers, it's terrible. I'm out of focus. Do not buy this. This was, I, like, this is something, if I paid $4.99 for this on Shein, I'd be like, yeah, fair. I was stupid and I bought something like that. But that was like $16.99 from Forever 21. So don't buy it. On the successful front for Forever 21, bought a neck scarf so it's a little like I haven't obviously worn it yet it still has a tag on it Um, I thought this would be fun to style um, especially for the like spring and summer kind of months Um, 
either tied around from the fact I have like a really flat back of my head so I never wear like stretchy headbands but I can try um tying it around a ponytail tying it like a little neck scarf I'm really excited for it and I just like love this print as soon as I saw it I was like I need it and it is for euro so that's the kind of price point I like um so I'm very very excited it actually has flamingos on it which I don't really care for but I just love all the other colours that are in it because they're all colours that I wear a lot. So very excited about that. And also these I haven't worn yet but I have altered because uh, I tried them on. These were €27 Euro, so a bit more, like probably the most expensive thing in this haul. Um, and they are like, you can see they're like really 70 style, really high waisted. They have like a really nice uh, closure at the front, like really flat like that. And they are flares and I thought these would be so fun so these have been taken up by about that much I am as I said before I'm actually I don't have super short legs which is kind of funny most of my height is lost to my torso and I usually like take up tops and take up dresses from the shoulders because that's like where I'm shortest but these pants were really flipping long and even though I'd be wearing them with wedges and heels like any time I'd be wearing them I will not be wearing these <laughs> pants with flats because I'm too short. I had to take them up a bunch. So just be warned. So there's this really nice stitching detail. So if you can imagine at the bottom there was like contrast stitching, you know, your traditional brown stitching down at the bottom about two inches up, three inches up maybe. And it was really cute. But um, we just use that as like the folding over point for taking these up. So I'm excited to style those with maybe like an off the shoulder top and wedges and I just think it'll be so cute and they're actually quite comfortable and I think these are only like small, medium, large and I got a medium and they fit me perfectly and I'm like a UK 10 in pants most of the time. So um, yeah, they fit really nice. I wish they were a bit slimmer further down, so like just below the knee. I think, or like just like right at the knee, but um, they're not, but that's also fine. And it's probably to do with me being short. So I'm actually really happy with those pants. I think they're really, really cute and they're very affordable for like a trendy piece like that. So the one thing I got from Gap was this skirt. Um, it's a distressed light wash denim skirt and I'll insert a picture maybe if I have a picture of me wearing it here or multiple. I'm standing weird in some of them and then in others I'm wearing an orthopedic boot, fun fact. That's been a thing. Um, I have completely torn, I have a grade three sprain, so I've completely torn a ligament in my ankle. So, life is good. Um, this is really comfortable, it's really nice quality, and it's just so flipping cute, and I'm really glad I got it for like going out. It's a really fun piece for that, but I wouldn't really wear it during the day for me. Like other people might, but just not for me. But I love the distressing, and as I said, it was from Gap, and they had like a discount code on the day like 40% off or something so that's when I got that and I feel like it was like 30 euro ish no more than that most likely I wouldn't have bought it otherwise so I realized I forgot an item from forever 21 it was like hidden in all my Shein stuff I've had this stuff for a while I need to move a bit more quickly here but um this t-shirt that has a verse from 1st Corinthians 13 and it says love never gives up and I thought it was so cute you can't really see it it's like the thank you um kind of traditional print words are not working right now but um so I saw it being modeled with a denim skirt I think or like jeans on Forever 21 site and I was obsessed with it and then I realized it was completely sold out so I was really upset but then about six months, seven months even after that, I found that it was still on sale in their plus size. So I bought it in the plus size in 0x. So just like, just large, I think. But it's very large. I thought I'd be able to like tie it and style it. I can't, I'm not very big. So um, I'm gonna have to try and like take it in. I'm probably going to, um, the shoulders are fine, I think. So I think I'm just gonna do like a doctor on the sleeves and whatever. But again, I'll figure it out. It's fine. It was not expensive at all and I love it so much. So it was worth it. So now, finally moving into Shein, what most of you are probably here for because I love Shein. If you're someone who shops on Shein, you probably know that your fails and, and wins are 
probably equal, but most of your wins are kind of worth all the fails. So I saw these shorts and Kelly Prepster here on YouTube actually got them as well. Um, I had already received mine and tried them on when she hauled hers. Um, and she said that she loved them. And I commented being like, have you tried them on? Mine look terrible. So I've had to move a bit closer. My camera keeps going out of focus and I like can't see it when it goes out of focus because I don't have my glasses on. Um, but these adorable Kingham like paper bag waist shorts, they look precious in all the pictures. They look so cute when you're like holding them up and they have a little like tie waistband or whatever. They're horrendous. They are horrendous. The, the gingham works as an arrow towards your lady business and they are like, okay, I do have a very short to torso so it's like more extreme on me, but like they're high-waisted. I expected them to be like mid, like, like finish on your hip kind of thing or even a little higher on the waist. The ruffles literally were coming up to like my rib, like not even my ribs, like they were over my ribs, but like if you had like a slightly longer line bra, that's where the ruffles were for me, so no. I thought these were gonna be so cute and I still have them because I'm really sad, but they're a major no. They were like 12 euro, I think, but don't get pulled in by it. It's so cute, so perfect and preppy, but no. Another fail. I have a lot of fails, but um, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out and sometimes you've, you've loads of wins. So I got this bodysuit and oh, again, for going out, I thought like, look how cute that looks. Um, and it's like all mesh and really stretchy. It's like see-through all at the back and I was so <laughs> I'm gone all washed out because that was so dark Um, I was so excited for it, but I was looking at the size chart I saw people like with, wearing it in the photos and the reviews. They're really good actually on uh, Shein most of the stuff I buy and is successful. I get it from reviews and um, I was like I just thought this was gonna be so cute so I was looking at the size chart and the most of the time it's like the hips and like butt area that is like where I need to look and it was basically saying that the large or the extra large would be the, like the measurements were my hip measurements so I was like oh crap do I need to buy an extra large and then I was like no this has a waistband as you can see at the middle here it's like a nice soft waistband and I was like I'm gonna get a medium take a risk and hope it, I can just make it fit um because the chest of it was still going to be like a little small is what it seemed and um yeah just trying to like squeeze my butt into this part well I got it and it's massive so size down like get your regular size in this or even to get a size down if you want it to be like cute and booby because it's not for me so I'm really sad about it it's just too big in general like the back of it is too big really is the problem for me so that was really sad. I was so excited for it and it's so sparkly. As you could, it even like really shows up on camera. It's just like, not good. Honestly, I'm gonna, I have one more kind of fail. Not a proper fail, but a little bit of a fail. And then I have the two really good successes from Shein. And I feel like I'm forgetting one, but follow me on Instagram to see it. Cause I'll like tag whatever I'm wearing. So I got this bikini, so cute. Just like a little tie one. I got this in a medium for the bottoms because you know she in like it's only like one size. So the bottoms will like burly fit me. Like they'll burly fit me. But the top is actually a little small or it just doesn't suit me that well. Um, I'm not, like if you were more flat chested or you just had like a little bit of boob, this would be so, so nice because it just looks like the, the shape of it is just so, so flattering but it's just not flattering on me because you can't like see all the stitching. I don't know, being slightly bigger chested. So I will probably wear this, to be honest. Um, the bottoms are lined, but they're not like, they're not super see-through, but I wouldn't say they're like properly opaque either. But I do think it's so cute and it's such a cute set and so many people look so good in it. So this is, this is an okay. It's not like a major win or a major fail, but I like it. I'm so sorry this video is getting so long. So a massive win from Shein is this swimsuit. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love, as I said before, I love reds and I love like warm tones uh, in general because it, it tends to be what looks best on me even when I'm like not self-tanned. Um, because most, But most of the time I like to be self-tanned. Um, so this is like, it is a very deep V. So like it's not coming to here, it's coming to like mid like sternum 
This, no, this is your sternum. I'm confused. But if you have some boob, it looks so nice. I'm actually probably, it's a medium, again, for the bottom part. The bottom part fits just fine. It's a little bit cheeky, but I think that's actually more my butt than it is, like, it being cheeky. Um, basically, everything I own is cheeky. So um, I'm going to take up the straps a small bit at the back, just so that they sit better on my shoulders and yeah it is it has like the cups in it and everything it's just so cute and it's such a nice color and honestly I've I've always found that their swimwear is a really good quality so I'll link this down below because there's a couple similar styles but definitely recommend this and I love the red color obviously so something I got for my family holiday we're going to Sicily um and I was just like this is just so perfect in Sicily was this dress that I saw like advertised but I haven't seen many people buy it um it's one of the like more pricey things on Shein but it was like 25 -ish euro or something so it's got these kind of like ribbon straps embroidery here I was gonna get the pink one originally but then I thought the blue would look better on me and it's got all these and it's kind of like a between a midi and a maxi dress it is so nice it looks like something from like needle and thread it looks so much so much more expensive than it is i got this in a medium which is uk 10 but i would probably size down if i had the chance um it does have like a liner skirt but that goes to about the knee or just below so um yeah it is so cute and i will definitely be posting pictures wearing this on instagram because it is so so pretty and definitely a win it also has a little snapper at the front to keep it closed so, so that is it for my very excessively long clothing haul affordable clothing haul and um, if you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions about any of the items you know why they were maybe fails because there were a lot of them in this video um but as i said before you win some you lose some so it's definitely not going to slow me down i will be ordering some stuff off asos pretty soon because this stuff is all from like two months ago um but yeah Subscribe to my channel if you are not already and follow me on Instagram to see me styling all of these pieces and other than that I will see you in my next video